Hey guys, my name is Joe, you're watching Jamily TV, and this is Restaurant Review Thursday, coming to you from Apia. So down here, we're just at the harbor, that's the government building right back that way. So we're real convenient to town, but today's restaurant review is Coffee Bean. so we get to sit down with Andrew. Andrew is the owner of Coffee Bean. Just wanted to help you guys get introduced to him so that when you come in, you can come give him a handshake and say, thank you for letting me know more about Coffee Bean. So, born here in Samoa, raised here till I was six years, and relocated to Melbourne, Australia, 30 years, living and breathing in Melbourne. Yeah, sort of had enough of that. Woke up one day and thought, no, this is, this is a bit crazy. So, Time to get out. Yeah, took my deposit, went traveling. Ended up in South America. Then my cousin messaged me out of nowhere and just said, hey, look, if you're looking for something to do, there's this cafe in Samoa that needs True. managing. Yeah, and I was like, all right, sure. That sounds like fun. Your yeah. background is? So sales and marketing in the food industry, particularly baking. Cafe world isn't completely foreign to me, but um, in terms of running it, yeah, that is definitely foreign to me. Yeah. <laughs> when did you start the business? February last year is when we officially took it over. February 18th. Uh, yeah, I relied heavily on the staff here. We took on the staff from the previous owner mm -hmm. and I let them do their thing and I just learned from them. Um, so how much did the previous owner help you also? Because you said uh, yeah. the staff helped she, you. She, Luffy gave me a, a really good induction on the ins and outs of her cafe and just the processes she set up. She's been running for 10 years. So that you guys understand how I met Andrew, you've seen Alicia do some dancing and she did a dance at the Pia Clock Tower. You can see that video right, right up here. Andrew allowed the dance company to come in here and dance. So why do you let the dance okay, companies come in here? Good story. I'm actually the classically trained ballet dancer. Really? Yeah. I haven't danced in a long time, but I've got a lovely space here. It's not really utilized in late afternoons and night. And I thought, you know what, this is a great opportunity. Yeah, it's been great. It's been a huge turnout. I get bums on seats and they get a nice place to practice. So yeah. it's a win-win situation. What's your most fun dish? It's always changing. I'm always evolving my menu. I just get bored of eating my own food. Mm -hmm. So I've always really liked the, the pop chicken. Then that got into pop chicken tacos. It's definitely yeah my favorite dish. And it's definitely the most, most fun when you see the customers sort of response when, when they order it oh, really? for the first time. Yeah. All right. So We'll have some of that. Oh, what's the most popular item here? Is that the most popular item uh, as well? It's one of, and also the fish stack. That's like a tuna stack on top of grilled veggies on a ulu or taro hash brown. That probably gets the most wow. Really? Factor when, when people order, so that's definitely... <laughs> it's, it's definitely a, a good one. Okay, sweet. So we have our two menu items that we're gonna try out here today. Fish stack? Yeah. And the pop chicken tacos. So yeah. it's something we haven't had here in Samoa. Exciting. You didn't know that we had it here in Samoa, but we do at the coffee bean. Okay, last question. What's coming up in the near future for you? I'm developing a new menu rock like as we speak, like slow cook pulled pork and oh, pulled okay. beef. Okay. Yeah. That's actually cooking right now. It's the first batch of pulled beef. Do you get to see it first? Yeah, and hopefully next week that'll feature in our tacos and pulled beef burgers. And I was trying to get it ready for tonight, but um, unfortunately the power going off today oh. set back my. Okay. Yeah. So Andrew, <laughs> Andrew is kind of telling us about the about the power situation at Samoa right now. As we get ready for the games, I don't know what the EPC is doing, yeah. and I don't think the EPC knows what they're doing. <laughs> they are shutting off power to the entire island all the time. Uh, the last week has been terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and I imagine for a business owner, it's been even worse. Uh, for me, I lose my fan. <laughs> for him, he loses actual money. Yeah, the so, customers walk out the door. Yeah, uh, exactly, yeah. right there. Oh man, I'm yeah. so sorry about that. That's why it's not ready. I wanted to do pulled beef tacos for you tonight, but it, um, Ah, that's some well, of the trials and tribulations of living in Samoa. So we're filming this on Tuesday, and this will actually be posted Thursday in the United States, Friday in Samoa, Australia, New Zealand. But if you come in next week, you can get the fresh, brand new pulled pork and pulled beef 
tacos straight from Coffee Bean, which I don't think you can get anywhere else. Do you know if you can get it anywhere else? I, I haven't been able to find it. Yeah, no. it's not anywhere else, so just come and try it here. Andrew is giving you guys the deal of the century here in Samoa. <laughs> He's actually gonna give you guys a discount. So if you guys come in and you tell him that you watch this video on Jamily TV, he's gonna give you a 10% discount for your meal just to come in and tell him, hey, I saw it on Jamily TV. So make sure you come in, not just like hit the like button, but come in, say hi to this guy and tell him that you've heard about him from Jamily TV. So huge thanks to Andrew and the team for doing that for us. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. Wow. Tuna fish stack, pop chicken tacos. What? I gotta tell you initial impressions here. It's ridiculous. It smells so good. I mean, you can tell from the presentation. Check this out. Look at that. Oh, I mean, it smells so good. On the pop chicken tacos. Oh my goodness. This sauce looks amazing. This is the lunch menu right here. Um, and this is what I got. I got the pop chicken tacos. So you could choose pop chicken, pop fish, or beef. It comes with cheese, coleslaw, avocado, and a salsa. The salsa is not a traditional tomato salsa. You can smell the honey mustard in there. And the chicken is glorious. Back to the fish stack. Oh. So we got a creamy fish stack. Can you, can you see what this is? Grilled fish of the day, which is a tuna in a creamy garlic sauce. There's palusami in here. I actually got an ulu mash. <laughs> I'm dying here getting ready to found this food. So exciting. Oh, this is one of those meals where you like, you don't really want to eat it because it's a piece of art in itself. Oh yeah, there's the palusami. Check that out. Wow. Oh, even just breathing, it kind of feels like you're eating it. So hopefully you can kind of. This is amazing. Got some carrots down here. Here's the breadfruit. The ulu is called breadfruit in English. Wow, oh, very, very interesting texture. And it's amazing. Grilled veggies, palusami right there. I've eaten a lot of things in Samoa. You guys have seen all the stuff that I've eaten in Samoa, but this tuna, one of the great things about a great chef and a great restaurant is when the tuna doesn't taste too fishy. You want a little bit of fish taste. I mean, you're eating fish, but not so it's overpowering. And what's great about this is that everything is complementary to each other. The palusami and the grilled vegetables and the creamy sauce, as well as the ulu, the breadfruit hash, everything just works really well together to give a great balance and to give you like some heft that you're eating something awesome. Mm. It's like a steak. That's that's an onion down there. <laughs> I'm halfway done with this one and I like a little bit of balance, so I'm gonna pop over to the pop chicken tacos. <laughs> Tell you, you gotta come down here. Mm. I'm gonna kill these pretty quick. It's amazing. I told you guys about Samoa's own chili sauce last week on that restaurant review, which you can watch like right here. Let's try it on the pop chicken. <laughs> Definitely a great addition. So I haven't seen this in Samoa anywhere else. I haven't seen anything like this, but Texas has a lot of places like this. And I'm so happy that I found a place in Samoa of all places where I can have a good Tex-Mex taco right here. Check out this salad that they have. It starts with the melted cheese right here and the salad. In Samoa, they call everything salad that has like any kind of greens in it. This one has cabbage and carrots and red cabbage and a little bit of green onions. And then you have popcorn chicken and then you have the honey mustard salsa, boom, dashed on top. Too much talking, not enough eating. Mm -hmm. All right, I told you guys that. I didn't necessarily want to make these mukbangs where I just eat and eat and eat, but I can't help myself today because this is so ridiculously good and so unique. We just don't have this in Samoa. Finish this, back to the creamy fish stack. For those of you that are lactose intolerant or whatever, you could have it with coconut cream instead of regular cream. Probably makes it even more island style. Here's a good look at this stack. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. 
so good. I'm gonna box this up because I need to enjoy this for later also when you guys aren't watching how messy I get and how messy I don't get. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button down that way. For those of you that have been here before and have loved the restaurant reviews that we've been doing and love the mukbangs we've been doing and love the vlogs we've been doing, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. Give us a big thumbs up. Most importantly, come down to the Coffee Bean and tell Andrew that you guys came because of Jamley TV and he's gonna give you 10% off. So big thumbs up to Andrew and the team for killing it on this meal. Again, thanks so much for watching. But really also, fast way for fun. This is the gas station with a lot of people working right now. Oh, this now. is a gas station? Uh -huh. Okay, and what's this one? This one's this a normal house that this has bricks and a normal house with bricks? Mm -hmm. And eight people live in this house? Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready to go? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm let's the first queen.